What is up, guys, and welcome to the Beyond Sanas. I'm Marie Machines. In today, we are going to start our journey in the reworked evil campaign for BFME 1 on the patch 2.22, which adds brand new animations and also increasing the difficulty to make the evil campaign to a mind blowing experience. The Dark Lord Sauron must reclaim the One Ring. With its power unleashed, he will dominate all of Middle Earth. Only Gondor lies between Mordor and the lands beyond. Once it falls, all of Middle-earth shall be Sauron, Rohan, the lands of the Horse Lords. Soon these lands will have a new master. Soon these lands will have a new master. Click on Isengard. See no more. Isengard army. Saruman. Isengard. Once allied to Gondor, this land now serves a new master, the Dark Lord Sauron. The Dark Lord Sauron. I mean, it's still mind-blowing that this game was made in 2004, guys. Am I right or not? Like, this is a game which was made almost 20 years ago, and it was so ahead of its time. I can't believe it. How a company like EA Games can be such can make such a bad decision to abandon these games. We have work to do, boys. Okay, so we have two crossbowmen with fire arrows. They are very important for Leton. We need to, first of all... Okay, so hold on a second. Let me give them this. Let me also pick up the PowerPoint, the War Chant from the spare book. And we have Saruman. A new power is rising. Smoke rises from the Mountain of Doom. And Gandalf the Grey rides to Isengard. I would look at this. We must join with Sauron. When did Saruman the Wise abandon reason for madness? I mean, that's a brand new animation right there, boys. So have like a little bit of a, of a sneak peek what's gonna come up in the next following missions like Helm, Steep, Minas Tiri, Osgiliath. They're gonna be, of course, way more. Uh, the plan was to make it more challenging, but in the very first mission, we have not too many choices, too many options. Uh, you know, you don't have a, like a huge army. You can't make the, you know, the AI too difficult. Then it's gonna be almost impossible to pass through. But trust me, that one, <laughs> the latest stages of the company in the missions like Minas Tirith, Helm's Deep, Osgiliath and stuff like this will be way more difficult. I'm gonna make another, I'm gonna build another Uruk pit. We need to recruit crossbowmen. Money is not looking too bad. We're actually getting lots of money. The thing is, there is like a, there is like not really a lose condition in this mission. So even if we lose our Saruman, we wouldn't be losing this mission. And for that reason, we decided to add some more loose conditions in the evil campaign. And of course, also add new heroes. So we will get to that also in the later videos. But for now, it's the kickoff. You know, the kickoff where every evil campaign begins. The Isengard. Alright, we need to kill those ants, boys. Again, it's important that we are using the crossbowmen with fire arrows. Because the ends, they are only vulnerable against that. I mean, we can also use our workers, of course. The workers should be able to deal great amount of damage to the ends too. But the sig most significant way are definitely those crossbowmen. Oh man, the ends, they are kind of ignoring everything. So go, workers. None. Let's burn them one by one. When you burn them, they will take heavy damage over time. Now we kill those ends. They will always attack your Orphank, but you can see our workers are going crazy. The workers, they have like a crazy damage scala versus the ends. So just like in the films, you know, when they... In I mean, basically, BFME 1 was designed to be just like in the films. Which is the main reason. I, I see people are asking me in the comment section down below multiple times, but Shanks, why not BFME 2? But Shanks, why not Rise of the Witch King? That's why. Because BFME 1 is so unique. While BFME 2 and Rise of the Witch King are like the other RTS games, like Age of Empires, for example, in which you can build whatever you want, you know? You have, like, non movie related stuff there, while BFME 1 is fully based on the films. I mean, we can still keep recruiting more units. I think we're gonna recruit some Uruks now. We have, like, lots of money in the bank. 
We can lose every unit beside the one with the fire arrows. They are very important, so we need to kind of keep them alive. So we can sacrifice those units, no problem. We can go fight. And there is a bonus objective always, so we need to build 100 Uruks. We need to kill the ants. And we need to build 16 buildings, level up Saruman to level 2, finish the level with 100 Uruks. That's the plan. We can spam more buildings. Just why not? Saruman also providing leadership with level 1. Very important leadership. We get more combat experience and also more armor. Which makes the crossbowman quite tanky. We have no command points anymore. So we are kind of kept. Kill the Alvin warriors. About to do that. The blast is like a long cooldown a minute. Which is a long time. I mean, it doesn't sound too long on the paper. But in an RTS scheme in which you are being attacked constantly, a minute can feel like an eternity, no? Okay, we defended this, no problemo. So what I want to do is I want to give... I want to put these two here. Here, actually. I don't want to fight with them. They have also lots of army here. That's pretty beautiful. Or maybe I should be bringing those things when I think about it. <laughs> Because how, how are we going to deal now with these units? Okay. I need you guys. So please attack these ants. Because we have no fireball yet. Kill those crossbow. Kill those ants. Look, they are attacking the Orphank. But Orphank cannot. Must not be destroyed. I like that the workers are automatically engaging. It's pretty nice actually. Nice, we killed all the ants. When you hear this gong sound, then you know you have done one of the objectives. And we have still a couple of bonus objectives as to get this dude to level 2. I think this one is going to get it to level 2. We need to build in total 16 buildings. So all these um, bonus objectives will mean that in the, in the final of the campaign, you will have like more points, you know. That's all what you get from it. Okay. So I would like to make more Uruks, but we are command points. Eliminate them! Okay, sorry, man, I got you, bro. So we can also pick up the Palantir if you want to. Just, no, why not? I want to place those crossbowmen on top of the wall first. Let's bring the Uruk. And this crossbowman can go to this spot. You know, we want to make this like in the Helm's Deep. Always the good factions defending. And in the evil campaign, you have only this one singular mission in which you are the one who is defending. So they are trying to invade Isengard. But look our beast dude. They have like five Uruk pits here, you know. Six Uruk pits, seven Uruk pits. <laughs> Massive production speed. Come on, crossbow man. Come to this location, please. Okay, I'm going to try to beat them in with my Saruman. And I need the crossbow man to be ready just to fight. Come, Rohirrim. I mean, I want to get him to level 2 badly, though. Ooh, they're coming, boys. Everybody against Saruman. Do it. Ooh, son. You want to do this? No, 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 no. Do it here, do it here. Boom. Oh, Saruman the White. You fall into my trap. You cannot close this gate, by the way, which is, I don't know. I wish we could be able to close this gate, but it's fine. Ooh, they are going for the structures. Also, Rohirrim Archers here. And see, that's the reason why we don't want to uh, see it. Why we don't want to bring the crossbowmen with fire arrows. Because the, the beautiful part about the campaign in BFM1 is that you can keep your units with you forever. So if you can save your units, you can even name them. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So what you need to do, guys, is you need to type anything in the comment section down below. In the following videos, I will create an army... And I will name the units, the Uruks, the Vorks, and whatever we get, based on your name, guys. So I will try my best to make you all survive, okay? Let's make it to a fun video. Fun run in the evil campaign. So if you want to be named to one of my units, make sure to comment this video in the comment section down below. Saruman. No, we didn't control 100 Uruks. Victorious, just like that. Ooh. 
March to Helm's Deep, leave none alive. Okay, we actually finished this with the 100 Uruks, and our Saruman also got level 2. That's beautiful. We got like level 4 units level 2, and as you can see, what will happen at the end of the mission, we have now a bunch of units, and you can be one of these units, boys, okay? So let me know in the comment section down below which one you want to be, a crossbowman, Urukai or combo. Later on, we have also the chance to recruit war riders. So I'm gonna make this. Let's make it, you know, kind of engaging a little bit. Okay, so that's gonna be it from from this video because I wanna have this video split it. And when you wanna play the campaign yourself, you can do this on the version 2.2 version 2.22 patch 2.2 to version 3.0. And uh, I will try to make a run. Because I'm pretty certain that what some of you might struggle in some certain missions and hopefully these videos will help you to actually kind of figure out what you need to do in order to pass through these missions in order to be successfully able to finish the you know, evil campaign in hard difficulty. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this video was enjoyable, please don't forget to leave a like to this video and also subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck and as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys. There will be no door.